Hello everyone at the IAT conference. I'm going to present this work called Integrating Ontology with Multi-Agent System Through Cartago Artifacts. My name is Arthur Freitas and I'm a student from Brazil. We contribute with an infrastructure for using ontologies in different Asian-oriented frameworks. This layer allows an integration of several Asian platforms with semantic web data and ontologies. We describe scenarios in the JSON Asian platform using the operations provided by our infrastructure for storing, accessing, and query ontologies. Our examples show the use of ontologies within multi-agent systems, where agents reason about and query elements encoded in ontologies, such as instances, concepts, and properties. We measure the performance of our approach in order to compare against usual knowledge representation in agent programming, which uses the regular belief base of agents coded in JSON. Ontology is defined as an explicit specification of a conceptualization. A conceptualization is an abstract, simplified view of the world that we wish to represent for some purpose. In other words, it means an abstract model of some world aspect that specifies properties of important concepts and relationships. So, ontologies play an important role in the areas of knowledge representation, sharing, and reuse. Since they use concepts, properties, individuals, relationships, and axioms, usually based on description logics, to describe a specific domain of knowledge. Given their logical structure, ontologies empower the execution of semantic reasoners, which provide functionalities such as consistency checking, concept satisfiability, classification, and realization. Given these characteristics, we claim that ontologies can be integrated and play an important role in multi-agent systems. So first, let's start with a definition of agents. Agents can independently determine how to best achieve their goals and perform their tasks while demonstrating properties such as autonomy, reactivity, proactiveness, and sociability. Nowadays, there are many agent-oriented programming platforms. Those languages differ in the agent architecture used in the form of communication or interaction between them and also on the programming paradigms that inspired or underline each language. Our proposal to interact with ontologies can be used in any Asian platform that supports Cartago. In this paper, we use JSON to demonstrate the application of our artifact. JSON is one of the best known languages inspired by the BDI architecture. Although the advantages of ontologies for agents are clear, few multi-agent systems platforms currently integrate ontology techniques. Limited ontological support is provided by agent-oriented software engineering approaches, since they do not incorporate ontologies through the entire system's development life cycle, nor consider ways in which ontologies can be used to account for interoperability and verification during design. So, which are the advantages we expect to obtain by allowing ontologies from, to be accessed from multi-agent systems? First, they provide a knowledge representation and reasoning features for multi-agent systems. Second, we have that agents can decide based on the logic provided by ontologies. Using ontologies in multi-agent systems results in the possibility of creating logical rules that can be applied by a semantic reasoner to infer new knowledge. Thus, the logic is moved from the agent code to the ontology, and the knowledge may be reused by different applications. In our approach, agents can interact with ontologies by means of an infrastructure layer coded in a Cartago artifact. Cartago offers computational abstractions and provides services that agents can exploit to support their activities. The information obtained from operations over the ontology may be used in agent plans to achieve goals, such as in argumentation-based negotiation scenarios whereupon more information can benefit the agents engaged in such process. Agents can use the operations of our artifact to access and manipulation information in ontologies. Lastly, our artifact works with ontologies coded in OWL. This figure explains our approach by means of three workspaces with different configurations. The workspace number one highlights that the agents can still use their regular knowledge representation approach, for example, belief-based, simultaneous with the new approach proposed here. 
using artifacts to interact with ontologies. The workspace number one shows that the two approaches can be used combined. The workspace number two uses only the new approach and the workspace number three uses only the usual and regular approach of representing knowledge in the belief base of agents. As design and implementation decision, each instance of our artifact can load and encapsulate exactly one ontology. However, each workspace can have any number of instances of this artifact, where each instance references an ontology, and the agents in the same workspace of the artifacts can observe and manipulate any number of them. Therefore, we have multi-agent systems that can handle multiple ontologies. An artifact in Cartago makes its functionalities available to agents through a set of operations. Here we have an, some examples of operations provided by our artifact. The operation add instance adds a new instance in the ontology. The operation is instance of verifies if the instance belongs to the given concept, returning true or false. The operation get instance retrieves a set of named individuals, which are the instances classified in a specific concept. For more operations regarding properties, concepts, and uh, other available operations of our artifact, please see our paper. We are going to explain usage examples of our ontology artifact with a scenario commonly used in the agent literature. Suppose a multi-agent system which represents a soccer team and that each role is represented by concepts in an ontology. A soccer team has players who can be right midfielders which specializes the concept of midfield, which is a subclass of player, and so on. In certain moments, the coach agent of a team needs to choose a player to replace other. To make its decision, the coach agent just needs to look for the corresponding ontology concept and choose a player among the individuals of that concept. In such case, the agent decision making uses ontology information. Decision making is a process where an agent looks for the information available to it to decide which course of action to follow. This information generally, generally comes from the, its environment perception, its initial beliefs, or from the communication with other agents. This slide shows examples of plans in JSON. They have the following format. Triggering event, context, and body. The triggering event can be, for example, a new agent goal or belief. The context defines the required preconditions to perform that plan, and the body is a sequence of actions and sub-goals to fulfill that plan. In our example, the coach agent uses an ontology describing the team members and the roles of each agent, player, in several situations, for example, to retrieve information, reason, and make its decisions. So, the ontology concepts model soccer roles, such as player and midfield, represented by concept, concepts such as C1, C2, and C3. The instances may represent players, for example, I1 can be a player whose role is right midfield. Uh, the instance I1 can be related with I2, true the relationship R1. R1 can be defined as is a player less defensive than. In the first plan, the operation is instance of is used. This operation returns a boolean, which is true if the individual carrot I1 belongs to the given concept C3, or false in the other case. The return unifies with the last parameter of the operation, R which the agent uses to decide between execution action A1 or action A2. Suppose a coach that needs to choose a player in some position, which is done by querying player agents that belong to the desired red role encoded as concepts in the ontology. For example, if in a given moment a player is injured, then the coach agent needs to scale another player in that position. To make this, the coach checks if a player agent belongs to the right midfield role. In this scenario, the coach has perceived that the injured player plays in front, but it does not remember its exact role, right midfield or left midfield. After checking this information, which is encoded as concept in the ontology, the coach can make the decision of scale scaling a new player. Now, suppose that an agent needs to recover all individuals who participate in a particular relationship. 
the agent can use this information to make a decision about the existence of an individual in the returned set, or to select one of these individuals for a particular need. In this case, the operation get instances can be used, as presented in the above plan. The return of this operation is a set of individuals which have the relationship R1 with the given instance, I2. Then, this plan tests if the set returned is empty, which leads to the execution of the action 03. If true, or in the other case, the agent will pursue a goal involving a new decision making, which uses the set of individual return, goal 3. In our example, suppose that the coach wants to scale more defensive players to replace a particular player, I2, using the relation defensive substitution, R1 which returns the list of defensive substitutions available for that player. If the list is empty, the coach may decide to reposition the players to have a more defensive te team, action 3. In the other case, where there is at least one player more defensive to substitute I2, the coach may choose one player of the set to be scaled, the execution the goal 3. It is important to compare ontology and agent approach. Since an agent can represent its kinology within its internal structures, for example, its belief base, or in its external structures, such as an ontology, this paper ha had shown that an artifact for agents to work with knowledge represented in ontology, and such approach offers advantage in terms of expressiveness and reusability. More expressiveness is obtained by the execution of semantic reasoners over the ontology, and more usability comes from the possibility of different platforms updating and querying the same repository and formalism. Despite these improvements, programmers would be interested to know which approach is the fastest. So, we conducted an experiment to verify which approach presents better performance in terms of execution time. To compare the ontology reasoning with the reasoning executed only in the agents, we define ways to convert ontology statements to agent code, as depicted in this table. This equivalence allows us to execute both approach, which will, re which will return the same result to compare their performance. For example, the performance of reasoning with the ontology against simulating the same reasoning inside agents. For simplicity reason, this table shows only the main statements which were used to test our approach of reasoning with the ontology in order to compare it with simulating the same reasoning only inside the agents. Our experiment compares the performance of executing agent plans that follow one of these two approaches for rendering knowledge, internal or external structure. One approach uses our Cartago artifact to query information from ontology, and the other approach queries the knowledge stored in the agent belief base. To access the corresponding performance impact, when using ontology, the number of individuals is increased, and when using the belief base, the ontologies were converted to beliefs and rules in JSON. In both approaches, we measured and compared the execution time for an agent to retrieve its information from queries in an ontology or from its belief base. The ontology used in our tests has three concepts, C1, C2, and C3. Defined as such as C3 is a subclass of C2 and C2 is a subclass of C1. The number of individuals ranges from 100 to 100,000, which are asserted to the most specific concept, in this case C3. The executed queries verify if an individual is an instance of the most specific concept C3 and the most generic concept C1. These queries were performed and compare it both in ontology reasoning and in JSON, and the square re returned true, since an instance of C3 is inferred as a C1 and the queried individuals were asserted as C3. All tests were executed in the same computer. Our results demonstrate that JSON performance can be improved by using this new approach, instead of querying reasoning with only the regular belief base. The execution time was measured to retrieve the same information, wherever in one case it's represented and retrieved from the ontology, and in the other case it's stored and queried in the regular JSON belief base. When using ontology, we tested two alternatives, with or without the execution of a semantic reason. We used Hermit for, uh, in our tests. We queried for asserted, inferred, 
and non-existing knowledge. Our experiments consider different sizes of ontologies. Uh, the results using ontologies with more instances, until 100,000, are depicted in this image. All tests demonstrated that the best performance is obtained when using our artifact with a structural approach. When considering a large number of instances, the worst performance obtained comes from using JSON re regular belief base. When retrieving inferred information, for example, information that is not explicitly asserted, the performance of ontological approach is similar for asserted facts. Moreover, the regular belief base of JSON takes more time to apply the rules and return the results. When retrieving non-existing information, which is not explicitly asserted and cannot be inferred, the performance of ontological approach is similar to the previous ones. However, the regular belief base of JSON takes even more time than the previous cases. We consider it as related work, Agent Speak DL, which is a language that appears in a paper that does not implement it in any agent platform. Also, JSDL is an Agent Speak DL implementation directly in JSON. Cool Agent Speak is implemented in a way that each agent ontology is private. Our approach differs in the sense that ontologies can be shared among more than one agent and the ontologies can be used in several agent platforms. These features are obtained based on an, the architecture we designed that's implemented in Cartago. More details about related work can be found in this table that is in our paper where we compare uh, an overview of the related work, how ontologies are addressed in, in such work, and which multi-agent system platforms are used. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. This is our contact information, which can be found also in the paper in the proceedings. Uh, we are going to upload this video online. We are very sorry that we could not participate for funding reasons. But we wish a good conference for everyone. Thank you.